everybody, it's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening, and I tried to do a YouTube live, but it didn't go well. I don't know what happened. I had no sound when I went back to view the video. The sound was all messed up, but I'm back from my three days off. I wanted to show you some of the cool things that came in uh, to the shop while I was gone. I wanted to show you an unboxing uh, of something cool and new that I got for the shop, and uh, let's just say it didn't work out. So I'm redoing the whole video. So the unboxing won't be a live unboxing because they're already unboxed. But let's start with those. I got two uh, new custom wheels made from a company called Sunray. They are, sorry, let me grab the box real quick. So I get the information right for you. They are Sunray Incorporated, and Sunray Incorporated is out of Rutherfordton, North Carolina, uh, 4761 US 64-74A Highway. That's quite an address. Uh, let me come in here. So that's their, you guys can see that, Sunray Inc. You can find them online. What do they do? They make wheels for just about every kind of piece of machinery uh, that you can think of. Custom wheels, very cool. So I was able to have two custom made wheels for my buck tool, 2x42. I had one they made and we changed the, uh, the diameter so that this should hopefully be able to now fit 3M, um, 3M scotch brake belts. And the other one is a softer rubber belt that, so that I can push into it because the, the buck tool came with an all metal wheel. So now I have a couple more wheel choices and hopefully this one, uh, which should just be a little bit tinier, which you can, I don't know, you probably can't see it on there, but it is, it's a tiny bit smaller. We made it so that it should have enough clearance to run a scotch brake belt. So that's the unboxing. Then that's, uh, once again, that's Sunray Inc. Super guys. I mailed them my primary wheel to them because I didn't want to have to do the measurements and get them wrong. I just said, can I just mail you the uh, original wheel? So I mailed them the wheel. I told them I needed it right away and they mailed it right back to me within the within a couple days which was awesome it took a couple weeks to get these made because they have a, a queue that you go into when it's a custom project so it was about a month's time to get these back but they're in I'm really looking forward to using them it's going to give me a lot more use out of my 2x42 now let me show you some of the cool things that that came into the shop this week that I'll be working on and I really love when I get weeks like this because you know, a lot of times it's kitchen knives all the time. And, you know, I never get bored of doing them, but it is nice to get some, just some different stuff in to work on. So here is a very beautiful Marine Corps ceremonial sword. Uh, this isn't a sharpening job. It's a refurbishing job to just polish up all the brass on this beautiful Marine Corps sword. I just recently did a... Uh, Marine, Car Marine Corps K-Bar for the same customer and he decided to bring me in his sword to refurbish this. It's got a little bit of uh, discoloration going on in the plastic. And I'm going to see if we can get all of that uh, taken out and make that look nice and, and beautiful again. The uh, now I'm going to come over here. Let's see, is it tracking me? Good. All right. I got in a very cool machete. Uh, it's uh, titanium bonded, which, you know, doesn't make a difference to me for sharpening. Uh, this was a very used machete. It had many, it had a bunch of dents in it. Uh, the bevel was in really bad shape. I started cleaning it up. Uh, I got a lot more work to do to this, but it's, um, it's coming along really, really nice. That's a very cool machete. Then I have this uh, Nepalese uh, Kukuri, I think it's 
I, I, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of this, um, but I, I'm pretty sure it's that's it. A, a kukuri or kukuri knife. Uh, they're very heavy duty, um, and it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, it definitely could use some polishing and some sharpening. They always have little uh, tools usually with them traditionally, which this one does. There's a little teeny tiny knife uh, back here in the sheath. And then there's another one here that looks like a knife, but it actually has no, uh, it, no edge to it at all. And it never did, it was very thick. And I believe these are used for eating, uh, for like picking up food and stuff. So um, we got this in, we got some straight razors in to sharpen so these are going to be pretty cool to work on beautiful straight razors and I got this little thing looks like it might pull out of something I think they just gave me the knife and I had a person from I believe she's from Illinois yes Illinois a chef sent me an email and said that a guy who told her she knew how to sharpen uh, one <clears throat> could sharpen her knives for her. She had a knife that she got when she went to cooking school over 30 years ago, and he really uh, butchered it on a, on a grinder. Uh, it does not look very nice. It is not very sharp at all. And she asked if I could redo this and refurbish these. And uh, it, it's more of a sentimental value thing to her. Uh, because it was her first knife from cooking school. So we're going to work on this and get these uh, back into good shape again. And that's that's what I got so far. Orders have been coming in already. I got uh, a couple of them here. Uh, here they are here. So I'm going to be busy. This one's for 14 uh, shoons coming in. And this one is for 9 knives. And this person... Uh, really knew what they wanted. They, let, they gave me uh, a couple paragraphs of how they would like their uh, knives t taken care of. Um, so that'll be interesting. I don't normally get that. Usually most people are just sharpen them. Uh, this person is very specific is letting me know this is how I use them. This is what I do. A lot of, I do a lot of julienne cutting and mincing and chopping. Can, and can you please do the following things to this knife? So pretty cool to see that because that's not, some, not something I typically get where someone's that specific on what they want uh, done with their knife. But when they are, I try and, and accommodate that. So that's it. That's the uh, what's going on in here. It's uh, Monday. We're back to work. I had a very, really nice break. Ran out to my lake house. It was great to be out there. Um, and now it's time to get back to work and back to sharpening. So... I'll share with you as I go through this week, getting through some of these things. I'll try and film what I can, and, uh, and I'll definitely let you know about the buck tool and the upgrades to the buck tool, and if I'm you know, happy with the, with the new wheels, I think they're going to work out really great, uh, and I appreciate uh, everything the guys at uh, Sunray Inc. did for, uh, for me for getting those, those wheels out to me as fast as they could. And that's it. So have a great week, everybody. Um, leave whatever comments you like in there. If there's something specific you'd like me to uh, try and do videos on, or if you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see, please let me know, and I'll try and uh, work that into future videos and things that I can do. All right, gang. Have a great week. Okay, so here's the buck tool. I put the new wheel from Sunray on there, and it looks like they did exactly what I expected, a perfect job. Look at that. So, absolutely thrilled. Now I will be able to use Scotch-Brite belts on my buck tool, on my variable speed speed uh, 2x42 buck tool, <clears throat> and uh, really looking forward to... to uh, using this for uh, some future projects.